Hello, good people, Eber here with Hardware Connects, and uh, today is Radeon 7 unboxing day. And as you can see, there are no signs of uh, Radeon 7 in this setup. Um, as you can see, they're just components sitting right beside me because we decided to do something a little bit different, or I guess something that probably makes sense, and that is to uh, do a build, do a build featuring the Radeon 7. And um, this all started initially with um, an idea that we had in mind, which was to set up a triple screen or triple monitor setup. And I just wanted to quickly put together something that can power and drive uh, the three displays, three 1080p displays that is. And uh, I think by the time you're watching this video, that video might have went live. So if you're interested in checking that out, link is right over here. But as I was building that system, uh, I realized that it just aesthetically looked amazing. So I thought I might as well just share it with you guys because, you know, it uh, is an all AMD system and um, it featured the Radeon 7. So let's uh, go over the components and all the other stuff right after this. Welcome the entire H series from NZXT. One of the most elegant case lineups with the premium construction you'll appreciate and the little details like purple USB ports, perforated shroud floor, and the iconic cable cover. We've got an ITX option, the H200, your standard ATX mint tower, the H500, and the big guns, the H700. All available with a smart device for RGB illumination and fan control or the standard variations with a smart interior to complement an easy assembly. The H series is hardware Canucks approved and is something for everyone. Check it out below. All right, so let's kick things off with the processor. I chose the Ryzen 5 2600X. It is an awesome CPU for the price because you get six cores, 12 threads. You can also do a little bit of overclocking with it as well. The 2600 is also a great option if you're looking for an alternative. Uh, for the motherboard, I chose the MSI B450 Tomahawk. And the reason why I chose this particular boat is because the case of choice, which I'll talk about later in the video, matches perfectly with this board. And the gray on gray color scheme it just looks perfect. It's like match made in heaven. That's what I want to put it that way. But when you look at the final footage, I think you'll probably um, understand what I'm what I'm talking about. So that's the board we're going to be using uh, to cool the Ryzen uh, Ryzen 5 2600X. I went with the Castle 240 RGB from Deep Cool, and the reason why I went with this cooler is because it was lying around the studio and I barely haven't touched it at all. So I decided to throw this into the build. But um, interestingly enough the actual CPU block is also gray in color. And that happened to match the build as well. So um, everything seemed to be coming together really well. And, you know, I love the fact that it comes with also, it also comes with RGB lighting, so you can, you know, customize it to the colors you want. Although, keep in mind that I'm not gonna be using, I'm not, not gonna be using a lot of RGB lights uh, in this build. I just wanna keep it as clean and simple as possible. So um, that's the way we're gonna do it. Now, in terms of memory, I chose Team Group's Pro Dark 16 gigabyte kit clocked at 3200 megahertz. Remember, Ryzen does perform better with faster uh, memory speeds. So that's one of the reasons why I chose this. And the other is, of course, the design and just the way how it looks. It just matches the Tomahawk board and the case really well. It doesn't have any RGB lighting, which is awesome. And I don't know, it just looks clean and minimalistic. I love, I love how these look. I wish I had a 64 gigabyte kit that I can throw into my workstation PC, but uh, yeah, these kits look awesome and uh, I can't wait to put them in. Moving out to storage, I had a lot of options to go with in terms of the primary boot drive. Um, but uh, I decided to use this 960 Pro NVMe SSD that I picked up for Boxing Day for a really good price. Uh, and, you know, this also matches really well with the rest of the color scheme that we're going for. And, um, of course, you're getting faster read and write performance as well. But uh, if you're looking for something that's relatively new, the 970 Pro is out in the market as well, or the 970 Evo. Those are great drives as well. And we'll leave links to all of the components mentioned in this build in the description down below. Now for storing my game library, I decided to throw in a Western Digital one terabyte blue caviar hard drive. Now powering this entire build is Be Quiet's straight power 700 watt 80 plus gold PSU. It's semi-modular and it just is adequate enough to power the Radeon 7 and the other components. Now you're probably wondering there's something missing here in the setup and that's the case and the GPU. First and foremost, I can't really fit all that stuff in this small table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring these boxes or I'm just gonna move them so that I can create some space to do my very short unboxing of the Radeon 7. I get this big box, you know, you unbox it like that or you open it up and there it is. That's the Radeon 7. 
And if you need to know everything about this card, we actually did an explain video, so you can actually check that out right over here. We go over all the specs and the architecture and the disappointment in terms of why we haven't received Navi yet. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, link right over there. Well, that was a quick unboxing of the Radeon 7. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But uh, moving on to the case of choice for this build, it is the Fantex P600S. And the reason why I chose this is just because of the color and the build quality and just the way how Fantex just designed this case. First and foremost are the swiveling side panels that actually don't require thumb screws to get access to the interior. So they're actually held by magnets, which is pretty awesome. And you also have all sorts of acoustic treatment taking place uh, on the inside uh, as well, which is great. And you have all sorts of modularity going uh, on the interior design as well. And uh, I just love the color and just the way how it looks, which uh, is definitely something that has been growing on me. It's certainly an expensive case for what it is. In fact, if you're looking for an in-depth uh, review or in-depth look at the P600S, link is right over here. Dimitri did a fantastic job. Uh, and so yeah, there you guys have it. So now, having looked at all the components, let's uh, put this thing together. As you can see, the final build looks gorgeous. I think the gray on gray color scheme turned out to be an absolute success, uh, not, not only in terms of component choices, but I think just the fact that um, it nothing really particularly stands out in this build. Everything just blends in really well. Everything from the memory all the way to the CPU cooler. And of course you have the Radeon 7, which is the highlight for this build. Uh, I left the LED lighting behind the motherboard and of course the lighting on the Radeon logo to be lit because I think the red and the red really complements the whole PC. It adds just a tiny bit of flair, but um, I did turn off the lighting on the uh, AIO cooler simply because it just it just was too much. I just love the fact that it looks very clean and minimalistic. I love this build, guys. It's just really awesome. But uh, I cannot get into performance just as of, at least right now, because there is an NDA, of course. But um, we will be doing some in-depth testing, not only with Premiere, but uh, we'll also be doing you know, 1440p and 4K benchmarks compared to the RTX cards. So definitely stay tuned for our full performance review on the Radeon 7. And if you guys are interested in any particular tests that you want us to run on this new GPU, I'd love to know that in the comments down below. And this is gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be something that I'll be using um, in the long term to see how this GPU, and of course this whole system just works in particular, not just for content creation, because that's something that this GPU is, I mean, potentially AMD's, um, claiming that it can help accelerate uh, rendering performance. So that is something that we'll have to wait and see if it turns out to be true. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this build. And of course, um, if you have any suggestions for uh, alternative components, I'd love to know that in the comments as well. I'm Ebo with Hydra Connects. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out some relevant content over here. Subscribe to our Boot Sequence channel and we'll see you in the next one.